Hey guys, this is Nick, and in today's Carbide Answer, we're going to go over setting up and troubleshooting your limit switches. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and plug your limit switches into your board. If you look down here, you'll see that you should have five sets of two pins where your limit switches are going to plug into. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick. The orientation that you're going to do your pins in is X, Y, Z. And so you'll see I'm plugging X into the furthest left. So there's X and then Y and then Z. Now these need to be really snug in here. Um, if you look to the right of this, you'll see that there should be four pins left over. So if you have any more, any less than that, then you're, you're, you don't have them plugged in properly. So now that we've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and check the switches. If you look down here, there's gonna be a limit switch status LED section. It's gonna have three LEDs. Those three LEDs correspond to the switches that are plugged in, but they're gonna have an opposite orientation. So instead of it being X, Y, Z, it's Z, Y, X. So we'll go ahead and test those real quick just to make sure that they're working okay. So the first switch that I'm gonna press is X. So you'll see the furthest right light come on. Then I'm gonna do Y, which is gonna be the center. And then I'm gonna do Z, which is the furthest left. After you've checked to see if those work, your, your switches should work properly. Now, let me explain the switches a little bit better. So what a limit switch does is that this is gonna go ahead and reach the edge of um, the machine and it's gonna go ahead and touch. Once it touches there, it tells the machine, hey, this is the edge and I can't go any further. So it's gonna go ahead and back off and it's gonna figure that's where the homing position is. So once you've gotten these plugged in and you've gotten them tested, you can go ahead and continue your assembly of your machine or if you've already had it assembled and you're running into some issues, this is what I would check first to see if these are connecting properly and if you have them properly plugged in.